Walker. Walker. Walker, we're gonna film the video. Hey Josh. What's up, Walker? Nothing much. Just uh, watching highlights from Yale football's Ivy League championship game. Oh, true. Yeah. No big deal. No big deal. Um, you ready to film the video? Yeah, let's go do it. Jumping off the porch like mom's not home. Tell me why the best things feel so wrong. Summer nights, love them how they take so long. What's up guys, it's Josh and we're back again with another video. Today is going to be the next installment in my Yale student interview series. And today we have someone very special. We actually have a Yale football player here. This is Walker. He lives down the hall from me and uh, he's here to talk to you guys about not only his experience here at Yale, but also his experience getting recruited as a student athlete. Hey guys, I'm Walker Lott. I'm from Hoover, Alabama. Um, yeah. Okay, Walker, I guess we'll just start off. Uh, give the viewers a little rundown of like your whole high school experience growing up playing football in Alabama and uh, everything with that. Growing up in Alabama playing football is a special thing because down in Alabama, football is definitely king. Everyone loves football, Friday night lights, everyone goes out, community, whole town show up. And growing up there was, it was some of the best times of my life. I, I loved high school football there and I didn't really realize it until I got to college. And you always have people come and tell you like, man, you're going to miss this. Don't cherish every moment of it. You know, don't forget where you, come, where you come from. And when they told me that, I'm just kind of like, yeah, you know, you're right. I... Eh, right now, I don't really know how I feel about that, but once you get into college and you start getting into practice and the swing of things and going through school, you really realize how special of a time it was and how much you actually miss the high school and the guys you played for and your coaches and just everything about it, especially the people. That's some really good advice. Make sure you guys uh, enjoy your high school years. It's not all about grinding and getting prepared for college. It's also about you know trying to have fun and live it up. Enjoy them. So I guess probably the biggest question some of the viewers have, especially those that are looking to get recruited uh, to the Ivy League schools, um, what did the recruiting process for you look like? The recruiting process for me was tough. Uh, I think recruiting processes for anyone are tough, uh, but it definitely varies. For me, I actually went to two different high schools. I went to a private school, a private Christian school my entire life until second semester of my junior year and I transferred to a public school, which was 7A, highest division in Alabama. So that was definitely a huge change for me. Uh, and that def recruiting definitely picked up then, which was nice. Uh, but it was it, it's tough because you never know who's going to want you. You never know what's going on. You got all these coaches messaging you and whatnot. And I just say for anyone who's trying to get recruited, don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Don't wait for someone to come to you. Don't wait for a coach to notice you or for anyone to be like, oh, this guy's pretty good at football or pretty good at whatever sport that you're playing. Man, get film, get highlights, get whatever, whatever you want. And send it out to people. Contact coaches um, via Twitter. Twitter is a huge thing that coaches use. If you don't have a Twitter, I would get a Twitter because I don't. I'm not on Twitter a lot, but I used it for recruiting 95% of the time. Um, so I would do that. Just contact any coach that you want, any school that you're thinking about going to. Hey, my name is blank, and I'm really interested in your school. Uh, I play this sport. Here are my highlights. Let me know what you think. Send it out to them. Uh, hopefully, you'll get a response. And just yeah, just don't be afraid to be a little self-centered on that aspect and, and really make yourself known to the coaches around you because with, without you putting in effort to make yourself known, it's just not going to happen like you want it to. Yeah. And start early, right? Start very early, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I started getting, getting recruited my sophomore year in high school. And all three years, three years out of high school, it's just every day or every week, you know, you get a message or... You get emails or whatnot, and schools, colleges, coaches, every, like, it's just, it's intense. All right, awesome. Thanks for sharing that, Walker. So, um, what other schools were you getting offers from? What the hell? He flushes the <laughs> toilet in the middle of a Josh Beasley video. God. <laughs> <laughs> All oh, right, man. We're back. It's all getting cut out. Obviously, you were probably getting offers from a couple other schools. Um, why did you choose to go to Yale? I say the main reason I chose to go to Yale is just the coaches were awesome and the people were, were incredible. Uh, being recruited by a lot of different schools, 
uh, I had fantastic coaches that contacted me, but sometimes the school uh, academically just wasn't all there. And other times that academically it was there, but I just really didn't like the coaches that were talking to me or I didn't enjoy the players around them. Just didn't, didn't match with our personalities or, or something like that. And, but Yale is a, it's a special place. The coaches kept in contact with me throughout my entire season, like every week, hey man, Walker, how you doing? How'd the game go? How's your family doing? They knew my family. They knew my parents' names. They knew my family's names. They knew my girlfriend's name. Even my dog's name. That was, that was a huge thing for me because I'm big on family. And the fact that they cared enough to ask about them and to really get to know them really meant to me that they care about me, not only as a player, but as a person uh, and as a student athlete. And another big reason was just the academics were too good to turn up. I mean, if you ever get a chance to be offered by an Ivy League, definitely take it because you're not going to get this experience anywhere else. It's, it's one of a kind, a athletically, academically, and the people here are the absolute best, Josh included. A everyone here is incredible, and you'll realize that when you get on campus, when you start meeting people, and really get to know the community. So obviously we're in the tail end of football season. Um, Walker and the football team just beat Princeton over the weekend, putting us at the number one spot and making us Ivy League champions for the first time in how many years? Eleven. Eleven years. Wow. So uh, we're in the tail end of the season. Um, the Harvard Yale game's coming up this Saturday. We're gonna Thank absolutely you. demolish Harvard. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So uh, obviously these are your last couple days as a uh, football player in freshman year in season, obviously. So what does the daily life of a uh, football player here at Yale look like? Man, the daily life, daily life of a football player. Uh, it, I'm not gonna lie, it's tough. Any athlete you can ask them, it's tough. Especially certain days of the week are big. Tuesdays and Wednesdays are definitely my hardest, I would say, uh, Tuesday. Luckily, I'm, I'm lucky enough that I'm not, I don't have classes on Tuesday, but I have workouts at 1, uh, straight from workouts. I go to football. We have meetings at 2.40. Meetings go all the way until 4.30, which is when we have to be on the field. And we practice on the field until about, I would say, 6.30 to 7-ish. Uh, I usually get home around 7.30 get a dinner in real quick, and then go to my room and do homework the rest of the night, go to sleep, start the day over. And then Wednesday, it's definitely one of the biggest. I start out, I have class at nine, and then I end at 2.15. I go straight from class to football, uh, get on the bus, take the bus directly to our field house, and have the exact same schedule, uh, 2.40 to 6.37 at night. And then after that, it's kind of downhill from there. We're starting to prepare for the game more. We get scouts and everything else going on Thursday and Friday, and then Saturdays, the game, big game done. Awesome. Obviously, you didn't just come here to play football. You're also a student, I mean, student athlete. Uh, what are you studying here, Walker? So, I'm not quite sure what I'm studying. Uh, for a while, I was with Econ, and right now I'm considering MCDB, Molecular Cellular Developmental Biology. But, as we all know, I didn't come here to play school. Or so we'll see. You came here to play football. Oh, yeah. Came okay. here to play football. Yeah. Walker, obviously there's a lot of things to love here at Yale. I mean, it's a great campus, great people, great opportunities. What is your single favorite thing about Yale so far? My single favorite thing is definitely the people. I, I love every person on this campus that I've met. They, they're awesome. You really can't find anyone here that you don't like. I mean, you can, but... <laughs> 95% of the people that I have met here are just incredible people. They're all very bright, uh, very just kind, caring people that, that will help you at a moment's notice. If you need help on a homework problem or you need advice on a certain class or whatnot, everyone is very willing to, to give you advice, to help you out, to let them know what their experience is with that and, and how their year went, especially the upperclassmen because they've been through it. They know it all. They you know have been through classes and meetings and societies and everything else that you got going on organizations and so they kind of they have a little bit of, of experience in everything so they're very welcoming to you and you can ask them any question that you need to awesome yeah i've had a lot of great experiences